Hello, hello, hello. This is Prophet Estee Janice. I'm here with another prophetic word from the Lord thy God. Before anything, you must seek the Lord by using your discernment spirit. You must also discern the voice of God by testing. You may discern what the will of God is for you to be sure this prophecy is indeed for you. Holy Spirit, right now, we welcome you in with thanksgiving in our hearts. God, we pause to tell you that we thank you. We pause to tell you that we love you. Father, God, I ask and pray that it be none of me and all of you. God, I ask that you touch each and every person that's watching this video. God, wrap your arms around them. Some came for one thing, some came for another. But God, I ask right now that you silence the voice of every single Goliath that's speaking negative right now against your word, your will, and your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So the title of this message is, In My Head There Was a Ring. Yes, in my head there was a ring. This message may not be for everybody, so you may want to take this message back to the Lord in prayer. But if this message is for you, um, your kingdom spouse is, you know, hoping and praying that things can go further and further with you um, starting now. They don't know the exact day that they actually felt this way. But this message is also a lyrical message. And again, you want to take this message back to the word and back to the Lord in prayer. And again, for every word, you want to make sure that you do that because each and every message does not apply to you. But I want to give to you what the Holy Spirit gave to me. I was eating and the Lord dropped this song into my spirit. It's called, this person is named Case, Happily Ever After. And I feel this so heavy for somebody because there's somebody out there that's watching this video that's going through this now and your keto spouse is ready to live their happily ever after with you. Amen. So I want to get right into the lyrical message with you in just a moment. But I want to get I want to give you the scripture that the Lord has given to me to give to you. It's coming from Song of Solomon, um, beginning at the third chapter, fifth verse. And you guys already know that I'm in the easy version. And it says, beginning at verse five. So Song of Song of Songs, chapter three, verse five. It says, Promise this to me, young women of Jerusalem. Do not cause our love to wake up. Do not cause it to become too strong until the time is right. The gazelles and the wild deer will know about your promise. So your kingdom spouse did not want to awake this love up before the time actually came. They wanted to make sure that it was the right time, the right moment, because sometimes it can be the right person, but the wrong timing. You know, and your kingdom spouse wanted to make sure that they go before the Lord to make sure that they're in the right timing. They're seeking the Lord for, you know, his permission to come to you. Amen. And I don't know who this message is for today, but your kingdom spouse is excited and they are happy. They love you so much and they're ready to take your hand in marriage. They don't want to dangle you around like a carrot. You know, they really want to make an honest woman out of you. Amen. And I want to get right into this lyrical message right now. Again, it's coming from Case. You may have heard this song before, but it's called Case Happily Ever After. Who am I talking to today? This message is for somebody. I'm so excited to give this lyrical message to you. So again, this song is by Case um, and it's called Happily Ever After. And it says, guess what I did today? Those were the words I said to you. It was last May, don't know the exact day, in my head there was a ring. Then you told me that you love me more than anything in your life. So I asked you, would you do me the honor of being your wife? Who is this message for today? Your king of spouse knows that you love them more than anything in this life. And they've been planning to, you know, propose to you. They've been, um, they've been planning to um, have a life with you and share it with you. Amen. And the Holy Spirit has been speaking to them and with them on behalf of you, right? And the Lord wants them to know that, you know, hey, it's okay for them to go ahead and take this step with you. You know, they want to be your protector, your provider. You know, they want to support you financially. This person is serious about you. Who is this message for? Who am I talking to? And it says, so I asked you, would you do me the honor of being my wife? I will be your man, your protector, your best friend till my humble life is ended and time begin again. So you're the one that this person wants before their liver starts to fail. They want to be with you. They are serious about you. Amen. 
This message just had me in awe right now because it's somebody that's getting ready to, you know, get engaged. You know, this person's about to propose to you. For some of you, this may be confirmation. You may have already gotten your proposal. This person may have already, you know, chosen you. Some of you guys have been through a lot. And for a lot of you, this could be a reconciliation to where God is bringing you guys back into union or about to bring you guys back into union. And this person is just like, guess what I did today? I've had some time to think about it. I want to be with you. You're the one that I want to spend my life with. There is no one else, regardless of what I want you. Hallelujah. And it says, couldn't we be the happily ever after? We could be strong together for so long. Share my love is strong. This person has a strong love for you, Jesus. No matter what, again, no matter what you guys have gone through, their love is strong in the Lord. They have so much faith in the relationship between you and God. This is that scripture from a, a, a three-strand cord. Amen. There, this relationship is not a relationship that is easily broken. You guys may have been through so much. Nothing can break this union, this relationship apart because what God joins together, what God joins together, no man can tear apart no matter what has happened. When God is in the midst of this thing, so yes, what God puts together, no man can tear apart. So you want to make sure you silence the voice of every single witch, warlock, Goliath that's speaking negative. We want to curse the imagination that whatever the enemy thought he was going to do, it is not going to work. Amen. You have to trust God all the way through. Mark 9 and 23 says, anything is possible to those who believe. If you believe that God can heal that relationship, that marriage, that bond, it's going to happen. And guess what? There is nothing the enemy can do to stop that. Weeping may do for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. God is getting ready to do this thing sooner than you think. And again, for many of you, it's already being done. It says, you don't have to look no further than me, Jesus. Don't look no more, baby. Yeah, you don't need much more than my loving to make you happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy, babe. Beneath the side of God, I will make this vow to you. So come on, baby. I'll be right here. Stay with me. Said I'll be here, babe. Hey, this person is reminding you that they want to make this vow before God. That they want to tell the Lord that this is my man. This is my woman. I'm making this vow. I want to be committed to this person. They want to love you like Christ loves the church. I'm telling you, this person really really loves you you don't have to worry about them going anywhere anything coming in between the relationship god is joining for some of you this this marriage this relationship this union back together and again for many of you this is confirmation i am so happy right now for whoever this message is for and it says couldn't we be the happily ever after right that's just like the end of a child story at the end, they live happily ever after. They want to be your happily ever after. They want to be your knight in shining armor. They want to be your protector, your provider. They want to pray with you. They want to cover you. They want to serve the Lord with you. They want to be in the kingdom of God together. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the throne of grace. Spirit of the living God, we come to you as humble as we know how. God, we thank you for this message that you've given to us today. God, I ask right now that you continue, God, to help us to put an alarm system on the things that you have given to us. Because, Father God, we know that what's for us is for us. And whatever you join together, Father God, whatever you join together, no man can tear it apart. And God, we thank you for allowing your hands to be in the midst of this situation. God, I ask that you bless every single marriage out there, Father God. Every marriage, every relationship that's struggling, Father God. Every relationship that's supposed to be together and there's a blockage. God, I ask right now, God, that you remove it, God. You release it, God. God, cover them right now in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you, Father God. 
God, we know that all things are possible to those who believe. We believe healing right now can happen inside of the relationship and the marriage right now in the name of Jesus. And again, we silence the voice of every Goliath that's speaking negative right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Shalom in the Lord, meaning peace in the Lord. If you are new here, welcome don't forget to like share and subscribe as the lord downloads to me i'm going to upload to you what the lord gives to me to give to you amen guys this is the year of answer prayers we are not stopping until we make hell nervous we may have been carried in one way but we are walking out another way it's time to walk out into the blessings the miracles the promise that god has given to us amen Amen. Thank you for your prayers, your support, your super thanks. If you need a, a prayer request, it'll be in the description box below. I'm doing emails only. Amen. So into this ministry as the Lord lays it on your heart to do so. Well, I love you with the love of Christ. And guess what? It's nothing you can do about it. I'll see you in the next video.